hello there so for today we are gonna talk how to integrate or how to use in fact jekyll with github so jekyll is a seed generator that will help you uh, generate your own uh, website your own blog in a matter of minutes so you don't need to know any code you just need to uh, start writing your blog instantly and uh, github pages will help you deploy your own website so these two tools uh, so jekyll with github go together and there are in fact uh, you can do amazing things with them uh, so there are two methods two methods in fact to integrate jekyll with github the first method is just to fork an already theme an already jekyll theme and uh, that's it in fact and uh, do some some changes in the, that team to add your own poster or uh, posters or whatever the other method and this is the recommended method that is very very useful because in this the first method uh, if suppose that you have some error in your config file uh, you cannot in fact unfortunately you cannot find that error and github will tell you only that you have an error inside your config file but you cannot in fact uh, fix it so the other method is just to create your own project locally and after that you will push it to github so for that purpose we are gonna talk about uh, the two methods so the first method is just to go to chicken teams and look for uh, one team that suit our needs there are in fact a lot of pages in that website this website and a lot of teams that will suit most of the needs of developers or writers or whatever so for that purpose for the purpose of this demonstration I'm gonna use this team as you can see here I'm gonna just click on the demo to look to see how it looks like and if I like it I'm just gonna go to the home page which, which is hosted in github after that I'm gonna just fork this uh, repository okay let's wait it for let's wait it to get forked after that let's go to settings and see if our website is already generated or not, or not yet as you can see here there is this uh, GH pages branch in uh, this section uh, usually you will your website uh, this branch the GH pages branch will contain your own website but sometimes it will be contained in the master branch so for that purpose we'll just change the master to master branch and save it so as you can see a github tells us that your site is ready to be published at and if I clicked on that URL you will see that this is my website the only thing that I need to do right now is just go to the uh, to the posters folder in fact and just add my own posters I'm gonna show you that right now so this is the project structure this is the pro project folder you can see that there are a lot of folders here and there is of course one config files this config file is the most important file here because it will contain a lot of configuration that you they will add it depends on uh, on your needs uh, the other uh, folders here that we that uh, we are seeing just we we are seeing here the includes folder the includes folder will will include all the things that get repeated on each page like the header the footer the layouts will contain all the main templates for on your for your own website uh, basically the idea behind the layout is just there are a lot of things that get repeated uh, from page to page so this is uh, in these files you will find basically the your HTML code your div and your h2 and p and HTML code they'll get repeated with some uh, can say some attributes or some variables where you include 
all the things all the variable things like your own posters the title of your post and some other things so basically the idea behind jekyll is like uh behind, behind in fact behind layout is like uh, if you already worked or you already studied uh, gsp or uh, time lift it's the same idea and the last folder the last important folder is the posters the posters is where is where you find or not find but where you will write all your own posters there are two basic uh, sections in this uh, in this file the first section we call it uh, the front controller in here we include all the, the variables that we will put or that we will uh, inject or include in all these uh, all these layout uh, layout files like we specify here what the layout that we will use we specify the title of this post the date and the categories the tags of course and a lot of other things and after the three dashes we start to write our post we start to write our article or our blog article And of course, there is the assets folder. The assets will include all the CSS and JavaScript and images. So that's it for the first. I just want to mention that uh, instead of editing your files uh, using the editor that GitHub gives you, the online editor here, uh, there is another tool that is very useful in editing your files using uh, github that call that is called prose so this is in fact a content editor for github the only thing that you need to do is just to authorize it on github and it will just it will ask you for your own credentials and after that you will just list all your project and all your own project and you will just start editing this project and pushing uh, the changes after that so now let's move on to the second method. So for that we need to create a new repository either by using uh, from either by from the command line by typing git init or by just going to the GUI uh, interface on the GitHub pages. Uh, in fact, not GitHub but to GitHub website. Just type, just click on your repository and let's write uh, the repository name. But please pay attention to the repository name because we need to follow here some conventions. We need to write our username dot github dot io. After that, let's just create our own repository. And as you can see, uh, GitHub already detected that we'll use this repository for hosting our static website. Uh, so the next thing to do is just to download Ruby because it, is, it doesn't come pre-installed with Windows uh, in contrast to Linux or uh, Mac OS. So I already did that. Let me check if I have Ruby on my machine by tapping Ruby-V. Uh, after that we need to install Bundler. So basically what, what is Bundler? Bundler is just a package manager. So it's like Maven or Ant for Java. So basically the idea is just to include some, add some, some lines there and uh, uh, describe in your package or, or you put a jar file or a gem or whatever the, that, you will, that you need and uh, the package manager will take care of all the hassle of all the trouble and just will do, download that for you. So let me install that package manager. We're writing gem install bundler sometimes it can give you an error especially on windows that error is just cp720 argument error so to fix that just write chcp125 and 2 so now the second thing to do is just after installing uh, bundler before generating our gym file because the gym file is like uh, pom for for uh, for Jamba where we will include uh, will include in it uh, all the dependencies that we want to download uh, before doing that we need to clone our repository so this is our repository URL let's 
let's cd to it uh, and we need to uh, download some team or otherwise we'll just have an empty repository an empty website so let's go again to the Jekyll teams website let me choose uh, one of the teams uh, that are already there and let me download the uh, the whole project what I need is just to copy all the website inside my uh, local repository Uh, the next thing to do uh, is just to create the gem file so to do so we just do uh, bundler bundling fact in it as you can see here a new file called gem file is uh, generated so uh, let me write uh, or add one line only one line of code to get all these dependencies downloaded so sublim, sublim is just a shortcut for a sublim I'm using sublim here for uh, as a text editor and let me write the open the file so we'll just add this line of code team github pages sometimes it can give you an error when installing the all downloading all these dependencies just add this line of code uh, just for windows of course and it will fix and uh, all these errors so let me get back here let me save and let me write bundle by just writing bundle with it will take will take care of all these dependencies i'm gonna pause the video for now to wait for all these dependencies now the next thing to do is just to run the server uh let me just Look for the command to write. So we'll just write bundle exec jekyll serve. Uh, as you can see, uh, it will it tells me that uh, our own website is already uh, uh, it's already ready. So let just uh, access it using this url as you can see this is our own website so the next thing to do is let me stop the server is to uh, we need to push uh, all these uh, modifications uh, into the github repo so git commit m modification or something And let's just type git push. Okay, now let's see if uh, we get the same website on our repository. On a, if it gets well deployed. So your city is ready to be published at uh, this URL. And that's it and uh, as you can see this is our uh, own website that was deployed in a matter of uh, one last thing that i want to point out is that sometimes you will just see the html code without css or javascript fact so you will not have the same website on both your your local and your deployed machine so for that just go to page source and check for the this link so check where are your CSS file located if they are located in the root folder assets just copy them or uh, copy the assets uh, to the root folder and push to changes to github if they are uh, because sometimes you find here that slash uh, some name assets material dosages if that's the case just create here a new folder and call it with that some name and copy all your assets to that folder and push the changes to github and using that with that you will just uh, fix this problem so guys thank you for your time and see you soon